what's happening, y'all? Back with really some, it's really not wild world news, but it's news. And uh, this is comic book news, brothers and sisters, and it's about Christian Bale. He admits that he was actually jealous. He was envious of Ben Affleck being cast as Batman. This is what the article says, short article. It says, what if Christian Bale reprised his iconic role as Bruce Wayne for Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice? According to uh, Batman himself, he was jealous of Ben Affleck's casting as the Dark Knight and admits he may have wanted to portray the character again. Speaking to Empire Magazine, Bale gave his account of hearing the news of Ben Affleck being cast as Batman and recounts, I've got to admit initially, even though I felt that it was the right time to stop, there was always a bit of me going, oh, go on, let's do another. Bale goes on to describe the moment of regret he felt when he realized the Gone Girl star will replace him as cinema's caped crusader, saying, so when I heard there was someone else doing it, there was a moment where I just stopped and stared into nothing for an hour, a half an hour. How do you feel about the idea of Christian Bale's Batman meeting Henry Cavill's Superman? Could we see this play out someday in a Crisis on Infinite Earth movie? Huh? Just shit. That would be hot. But, um, yeah, you know what? Um, I think it's one of those things where, you know, first of all, you play an, an iconic character like that, it becomes part of you. You own it. You know what I'm saying? It's part of your soul forever. I mean, shit. Like Christopher Reeve, he was Superman. Period. He was Superman. You know what I mean? I'd be walking around with my nose slightly cocked in the air if I played Superman. I'm Superman, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? So, with him, you know, and, and here's the thing. People wanted Bale to, to, to run into Henry Cavill. They wanted Bale to play Batman. You know, I wouldn't have had a problem with it because we were so used to him over the past, what, six years or whatever, you know, the movies came out. We were used to him. We were used to the gravelly voice. Oh, it was over, really overdone in the second one. You know what I mean? It, it, you know, it was just, it was, it was, it's part, it's part of Batman history now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just like Kevin Conroy switched the voices. You know what I mean? Like, he, 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 they, he said, they said he's given a credit for coming up with the idea of Batman having um, two different voices, you know, one for Bruce Wayne and one for Batman, which would kind of make sense because if he did run into anyone that knew who he was, I mean, he's a public figure. He does, you know, speak on TV, I'm sure, you know, make press conferences and stuff like that. It would make sense to somehow describe to, um, um, I can't know why I can think, I can't think, I'm losing my train of thought right now, but, um, you would want to change your voice. And uh, you know what's funny though? Michael Keaton, when Michael Keaton played Batman, he did make his voice a little raspier. He did do that. Um, I, I, I'm, in particular, I'm just thinking about the one time where, um, where he's driving in the car, he's in the Batmobile and Batman returns and he's patrolling and he's, he's, he's spying on Cobblepot. And, and I think Alfred, like, you know, called him and he said something, you know, he was like, he was something about his parents. You know what I mean? And I could see that his voice was different. But, like, back in the first one, he had the same voice. Because I remember when he talked about, he was talking to the Joker, and he was like, you know, you killed my parents. You know what I mean? And it was his voice, you know. So, anyway, what do y'all think about him being jealous? It's one of them things where he's, he's probably realizing, like, damn, I'm phased out. I'm not Batman no more somebody else that could you know become Batman and he's Bale and Keaton are arguably the, the two best you know what I mean it's one you know what I mean some people say Keaton some people say it's Bale um if I gotta pick I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna pick Bale but not by much not by much so I'm gonna pick Bale but um tell me down below who you think is the best Batman of all time and uh, tell me what you think about him being a little bit jealous of, um, you know, 
uh, Ben Affleck, Batfleck being the man to be right now. One million subscribers. Woo!